All right, information is knowledge and power. The grill's been repaired. I got the uh, igniter apart, but it's uh, still not working. But I'm not, it's not a big deal. You can just light it with a, with a lighter. So as you can see, you can see the flames barely. But this is what came out. And this is why these rusted areas here, these corroded areas are dangerous because those are crossover pipes for gas and also help spread the flames. So. Uh, other thing that's not good is these are not the right pieces. So doesn't mean they can't be used for something else. It just can't be used on this grill. And the good news is those heat those heat shields that are still in the grill that I put back in are uh, are sufficient. So and what's cool about this is I'm actually planning on uh, hopefully cooking burgers tonight. So. Anytime you mess around with gas and the, that kind of stuff, you need to be extremely careful, especially when you're doing repairs. So uh, this kind of repair is not that complicated. And the reason it, uh, you still need to be careful is because gas explodes. So you don't, uh, you don't want that. So anyway, uh, information is knowledge and power. I'll post up these two videos here in a little bit. Uh, Y'all stay safe. G Prepper, out.